Well, hello and welcome. Today, we are gonna be looking at how you can add various effects such as a drop shadow, a lovely outer glow, or maybe even just an outline to any of your sources within OBS. Now, this is using the Stream Effects plugin. We covered how to install this in another video, so I will leave the link for that one down in the description and up on the little card thing. So go check that one out first if you haven't seen it yet, and let's get to it. So we're straight into OBS. If you're new to OBS, I've done a tutorial that is a full beginner's guide. I'll again leave links for that one. So if you want to check it out, go ahead. So we're going to go to a blank scene. So I have my tutorial scene here and we're just going to add a couple of things in here so that I can show you exactly what these effects are going to do. So let's give ourselves a nice background. I'm just going to choose OK on image. I'm just going to go and select an image file. Let's use this lovely picture of Yuna from Final Fantasy X. Just going to make it so that it fills the screen. And let's say that this is going to be our lovely background. Next, I'm going to add in my camera. So I actually have a nested scene already, which has all of my camera attributes as I want them. I think this actually already has a drop shadow on there. But we'll use it anyway because we can just do a really exaggerated one which is probably going to look cray but we're going to go for it so in here i'm going to choose scene i'm going to choose my rounded cam here we go so to add the effect we just need to right click choose filters and at the bottom left here click the plus and then we need to choose the option that is called sdf effects this is a part of the stream effects plugin if you don't have it you'll need to install it the links are all in the description of where you can go get that but we're just going to add the sd effects on here you can rename it if you want to but you can see in here there's actually loads of different effects that you can apply outer shadows inner shadows outer glow etc i think they're all pretty self-explanatory if you're not sure you can hover over the tooltip question mark at the end there and it will tell you what it's going to do so let's just move this out of the way just a little touch so we can actually see what it's going to do to this border here so let's try adding an outer shadow if we click that you can see there's kind of like a black line around the outside there so let's make that distance way bigger that is that is quite intense and then we can use the offsets here to shift it maybe want it a little bit like that and so i'm standing off the background if i drop it down there of course we can also drop that down so it's less crazy and actually looks a little bit more like a shadow but basically just play around with them until you get the look that you're after but that's quite nice as it separates me from that background and it adds depth to the stream and interest with that you could also go ahead and change the color of that so all of my stuff on my stream tends to be purple so i can have a lovely little purple shadow there now as i already have a drop shadow that's maybe not the best one to play with let's just turn that off we could also add an inner shadow there and keep in mind with the inner shadow that you could change the color so i could have this as like an inner purple glow that's going on so if we change this one set it to purple there and we can see that if we just bump this up a little bit that then the purple comes up at the inside maybe an outer glow is more your thing so let's have a look at this one we'll leave it as white for now but we probably want to expand that glow out just a little touch you see with these settings it actually just looks like a solid border so if you just applied this to your camera these could stack up and make quite a nice border effect around your camera We've got an inner glow, which is the same, but it's going to be coming inside the image rather than around the outside. And then you have a dedicated outline. So this is just nice, clean, sharp outline. You can choose the color of the outline. So again, let's set that one to purple. We can grab this offset and we can give it so there's actually a gap around the edge there. So you can actually see the background between the kind of border there and yourself. I actually like that as a look for a border on its own as it is. And we can adjust the sharpness there if you want it to have kind of a, a nice soft edge or if you want it to be really, really sharp. Lots and lots of things to play around with. Down at the bottom, there's some advanced options. This is basically just going to allow you to affect the scale of the effects that you apply. So if you want them to be much bigger or much smaller than they're appearing, then you can alter that in this bottom section as well. And that's pretty much it. Very, very simple, but makes such a huge difference to your stream, keeping it interesting, keeping it looking a little bit different to everybody else's. Just those subtle details of adding drop shadows, outlines, those kind of things can form the basis of a really nice overlay and layout. I actually use the drop shadow on most of the items on my stream at the moment and it adds a really nice dimension to it so it really does feel like it's very 3d rather than it all just looking flat it's definitely worth giving it a try and let me know how you get on so that is it for today if you found this useful be sure to do all of those things that i love 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 like comment subscribe you know all the things 
Have a great day, whatever you're doing, and I'll see you in the next one.